Hi, my name is Mary Lehman and I'm very interested in the elementary teaching position at East Grand Rapids. So after high school, I jumped on a plane and I flew out to California and I joined a nonprofit performing arts group called The Young Americans. With the group, I did workshops with kids ages kindergarten to 12th grade and we taught them singing and acting and dance. And the main focus of our workshops was to encourage children to try something new and step out of their comfort zone. And so I was able to go to Japan with the group for four months and then I did a tour in the UK for a couple months. I went back to Japan for about three months and then I did a tour in the southern states of America. So I was able to see kids coming from all different backgrounds, social economic backgrounds. I worked with children with special needs. I did workshops where no one spoke any English and it just really opened my eyes to the power that music and the arts can be in a classroom. And um, I realized that this was something that I wanted to pursue. So I came home and I got my bachelor's in English language arts from Grand Valley State University. And then I entered into their graduate teaching program for my teaching certificate. So I'm about five classes away from my master's. I did my student teaching at Wakazoo Elementary in Holland in a kindergarten classroom. My, so both my students assisting and my student teaching was in the same classroom. And I want to teach at East because I nannied for a family in East for about four years. So I was in and out of wealthy elementary all the time. And I just love how the focus in East is always on the kids. Like, it's not ever about anything other than that. And I think that that's a wonderful thing that East has that's unique. And I have a friend that student taught at East too, and she just raved about the support among the teachers and the staff, which is also something that I'm super drawn to. So I did bring my favorite book, which is really hard because I feel like my favorite children's book changes all the time. But um, this story is called Pete and Pickles, and I love it because it's kind of an underdog story. Pickles is kind of an underdog and just has this really big, fun, exciting personality. And this is Pete, and he's a very perfect pig. So when Pickles and Pete meet, it kind of disrupts Pete's perfect world. And it's just a wonderful story about how this this becomes this unexpected friendship and they both end up really respecting each other for their differences. And I love this book because it has so many underlying themes, themes to it that aren't directly stated in the text. And I think it just really produces wonderful discussion in the classroom about social emotional issues that aren't necessarily talked out talked about all the time in in classrooms so um why I think I would be the best candidate for the position is one I am older coming out of my schooling so I'm about I'm 27 and I've toured the world for a bit so I think that my view on children and where they're coming from is a little bit wider and I think teaching is a hard profession it requires a lot of work and a lot of focus and a lot of dedication to what you're doing and I think going into it not fresh out of college is is an advantage. And then I am an upbeat person. I always have a positive attitude and can bring a lot of joy into my classroom, but also to my colleagues as well. Um, and I will create a classroom that is not only a place for learning, but also a place where children feel safe and comfortable. I think that in order to be a good teacher, you have to be able to build relationships with your students, with their families, with the community. That's the way that kids feel safe. And I think um, social emotional learning is incredibly important. In my student teaching, I was able to pilot a social emotional curriculum with my mentor teacher. And I cannot tell you how many times aspects that we would be talking about in our social emotional lessons would be brought up within our academic lessons and the kids would refer to it all the time. And it just made the climate in our classroom much more kind and empathetic and I really want to create a classroom that is kind and empathetic because I think when that is happening among peers and among peers and their teacher, that's when students can really learn the best because they're not afraid to take mistakes and they're not afraid to mess up. So yeah, I look forward to talking with you and it was nice to meet you. Thanks for watching my video.